Um, so yeah, when the night when Big got killed, this was a you know great party, but Biggie and everybody that was you know, even myself, we had different security when this whole East Coast West Coast thing was happening. The security was a lot more intense. Um, people was hiring more people, so we all came out. Me, I'm coming out with Big at the same time, and Big was Big truck pulled up. Me and Big had the same Suburban, the same color, same Suburban. We had like twin Suburbans. So when it was time to leave, JD was supposed to ride with me. But he was like, Brad, I'm gonna ride with Big. And I was like, all right. And Big was like, JD, you can't stand out here, get in my car. I had my foot in the truck. <laughs> my right foot was getting in the truck. And then my truck pulled up. JD ended up hopping in a different limo which I didn't know he had hopped in a different limo, I think with his dad or something. Um, but if my truck would've pulled up, I would've been in that car too. As Soon as he hit the curve, we were still getting people in the car. They hit the corner, we start pulling out. We heard the shots right when we made the right too. And it's just, you like, me, me and Big was such good friends. He had, Big wasn't really successful, super, super successful when I first met Big. Big just couldn't figure it out. He was like, man, you gotta do a remix of something for me, man. Y'all gotta get me where y'all at. And he was always on me, like, JD, what you, what you gotta do? I need one. Make a song with me and Honey. You know, I love working with Big. You know, I was the first female to do a song with Big at JD's studio. You know what I'm saying? We did the B-side together, and it was so much fun. It was so dope. And we hung out a lot after that. Like, Big was my Like, he was so sweet and loving. Whatever he could do, he, he just wasn't... He wasn't happy in the space that he was in, and he thought that me working with him was gonna help him get to that space. What that did was made me and him become better friends and talking all the time and all that. So that night when it happened, he was really, really looking out for me from a friend standpoint, like, JD, don't stand out here. You know how LA is, get in the car with me, then when the car come, you can get out. That was basically a conversation. So yeah, when that happened, I jumped out, his car, my car pulled up, he pulled off, and was like, yo, I'm gonna see you at the next spot. 